All right. So here's the thing. One UI 8 isn't exactly the kind of update that makes you jump out of your chair and clap. If One UI 6 and 7 were like, hey, look at this cool new stuff. One UI 8 is more like, yeah, we made some improvements. They are nice. Trust me. It feels subtle, calm and almost too calm. But here is the surprising part. Even though the update doesn't look flashy, it quietly makes daily use smoother and smarter. From multitasking that actually helps to small AI shortcuts that saves a few tabs to privacy features that gives a little peace of mind. Here are 5 unique features that keep pulling me back to One UI 8. Excited? So let's get started. You know how we all say we are great at multitasking, but then we end up switching between apps every 5 seconds like confused goldfish. Well, Samsung finally decided to help. With One UI 8, split screen has gone from nice feature to actually useful in real life. Before you were stuck with those rigid 50s to 50 or 30s to 70 layout. But now you can resize things way more smoothly. You can make one app take up almost the entire screen while the other stays as a tiny strip on the side. And this is super practical. For example, let's say you're watching a recipe on YouTube while cooking and your friend keeps texting, dude, how much salt? Instead of constantly switching, you can keep your chat as a slim bar while the recipe stays big and clear. And here's the best part. When you minimize an app in split screen, it doesn't disappear anymore. It stays parked there, ready to pop back up with a tap. No reloading, no loss progress, just a smooth multitasking like it always should have been. Now let's be honest, recording videos on the go is risky. You could be saying something heartfelt and meaningful and then a bike zooms past sounding like a fighter jet. But One UI 8 brings a feature that feels straight up magical and it is called Audio Eraser. Think of it as your phones acting like a mini audio editor that actually understands what you meant to record. It can separate sounds layer like voices background chatter, traffic noise, wind, music, all individually. So if you filmed a birthday message at a busy restaurant, you can tone down the clinking plates and random conversation while keeping your voice crystal clear. No need to retake the video while awkwardly telling everyone around you to shh for 10 seconds. Now using it is quite easy. Here you will see a slider for different sound types. Just adjust what you want louder and quieter. You can even preview changes instantly or compare with the original. And the cool part, it's not just for videos. Audio Eraser works in voice recorders, Samsung Notes and even call recordings. So whether you are recording memories, lectures or your friends venting about life, your audio finally sounds clear. Now you know that one drawer in your house where you keep important things that no one else is allowed to touch. Secure folder has basically been that drawer on Samsung phones since 2017. A private space for your banking apps, personal photos, notes, whatever. Until now, some system tools could technically peek into the drawer. Not great for something that's supposed to be, well, secure. But with One UI 8, Samsung finally fixed it. Secure folder is now treated as its own private profile, which means even the phone's core system can't look inside. Your stuff is completely sealed off like a room with zero windows. Just remember, you have to close the hide secure folder entirely for that privacy wall to lock in. And the cherry on top is that fingerprints are now separate. Earlier, if your family member's fingerprint was saved for unlocking the phone, they could also open secure folder. But now One UI 8 makes you register new fingerprints specifically for secure folder. So in real life, say you hand your phone to your cousin to show them memes. They can scroll freely, but that folder where you store your finance apps, work file or that super personal general entry title do not open, yeah, that stays yours and only yours. Okay, so we all have those photos, maybe receipts, personal documents, screenshots you took for later or just one embarrassing selfie you refuse to delete. Secure folder has always been great for hiding stuff, but sometimes you don't want to move everything to a whole separate space. You just want to hide a few photos inside the gallery itself. And that's exactly what the new private album in the One UI 8 is perfect for. Think of it like this, secure folder is your locked suitcase, private album is your hidden drawer inside the closet. Faster to access, still private and super convenient. For example, say your friend asks to see your vacation pictures and you happily hand your phone over because not for sharing photos are already tucked away in the private album. No awkward scrolling, no panic snatching your phone back mid-swipe. Now to enable this, you simply have to open gallery, then menu, then setting. Scroll down to tap about gallery, then keep tapping the version number until gallery labs unlocks. 
Now go back to Gallery Labs and enable Private Album. Close Gallery and open it again. Now you will see the Private Album in the menu. To use it, just pick any photo or video, tap More, move to Private Album and you are good to go. You will unlock it with your fingerprint or pin and anything inside stays completely hidden from your regular gallery. Now we all know that leaving your phone charging overnight isn't exactly great for the battery. But let's be real, most of us still do it. One UI always has a basic battery protection mode, but One UI 8 takes it a step further and actually adapts to how you charge your phone. You will find this option under settings, then battery, then go to battery protection. The basic mode still works the same. It stops charging at 100% and resumes at 95. But now there is adaptive protection layered on top. Now here's the cool part. During the day, it lets your phone charge normally. So if you're in a hurry, no slowdown. But at night when you pull in and go to sleep, it holds the battery around 80% for most of the night and only completes the charge closer to the time you usually wake up. It's one of those features you don't have to think about, but your battery will definitely thank you in the long run. So guys, these are small but thoughtful One UI 8 improvements can genuinely make a big difference in daily use. So definitely try them out. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you have find it useful and if you do, then do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.